Hello and welcome back to another training. This is D. Jarvis Floyd, the online entrepreneur. We are rocking and rolling one step closer to launching our store and making our first sale. In our last training, we set up our Facebook business slash fan page. We also set up our Facebook ads and Facebook business manager account. And we are ready now to go inside of Shopify and do a couple more things to get our store prepared to make our sales. So in this training, we're going to cover Shopify apps. Uh, Shopify apps is basically a place where we go to find apps to help us make our store function and perform better. So what are Shopify apps? Shopify apps are a collection of free and premium plugins that extend the functionality of our online store and it's a way to add more specialized features to Shopify. Now to make this make more sense to you from a web designer's point of view is if you were to want to have your own store years ago, you have to buy a website which costs lots of money, thousands of dollars sometimes. And then if you want to add certain things uh, like to your store, like uh, certain softwares or things to make your site function better, you have to pay like a software person that makes software for your store. And it just got to be very, very expensive. So what these what apps do is allow you to add certain functions to your store with the click of a button. It makes it easy to implement certain features that you would have a hard time doing if it wasn't for a platform like Shopify. So let's go ahead and get right into some of the different um, things we're going to do in this training. Okay, first we're going to have to select our Shopify plan. You don't have to pay, but we have to have a plan in place so when our trial is up, it can kick in and it takes over the payment part. Now, while that's important to do now, is you cannot add apps to your store that are not free apps uh, without having a plan. So. The first app we're going to use is called Trackify. What this does is it allows us to just go on our Facebook Business Manager account and take a code and put it inside of Trackify. Now, without Trackify, you would have to go and install the whole pixel code onto about three or four pages inside the CSS coding, which is can be difficult, especially if you're not um, you know, good with codes and things like that. It can be very tedious, and if you mess that up, you can... Um, you know mess up your tracking and you won't be able to track people and do all the things that we can do with Facebook so one great feature is called retargeting meaning when someone goes to your website and they don't buy which most people don't buy the very first time um, you can track them like if they go off of your website and they go back to Facebook your ads will still be shown to them while they're on their Facebook page if they go to YouTube your ads will still be shown they go into CNN.com which I've done I saw my ad uh, on there as well so it's just a great great powerful feature that our app that we can do a lot with we're also going to um, add herify and these are just basic apps there's a lot more apps that I use um, and I'll teach you guys about in a more advanced training but these are just the basic ones that I think that you should have right now in order to make your first few sales and herify is another one it adds a sense of urgency to your product pages so you can say there's only five of these left and or you can add a countdown timer like eight more minutes left in this sale or whatnot it just makes it so people feel like that you know they have a reason to go ahead and buy now okay notify which is called FOMO now it just makes it so when you go to your site if people that have purchased already it kind of has a pop-up that says hey this person purchased from uh, Miami Florida so it makes your site look like it's uh, actually um, exciting it just adds a sense of hey this site right here is not brand new they're making sales and it just makes your site look more credible abandonment card is not an app per se it's one of the features that comes with one of the plans on Shopify if you get the uh, the plan I'm going to show you you don't have to worry about adding an app but you can add an app that allows you to have an abandonment card inside of an app as well so let's go ahead and dive into the training and show you what I'm talking about here so first thing you have to do is go to your uh, your store and where it says select the plan you just select that okay and the plan that I'm going to recommend for you is going to be the one here that is $79 a month you can get the one that's 29 if you uh, if you just don't want to spend that much but if you think about having a website the cost of this is way more than this if you were to uh, hire a web designer so this is a great deal what you're getting with this is you're getting the app the abandonment cart app with this which enables you, like I said, when someone goes to your store, and in this case, if they add something to their cart and they don't purchase, which happens a lot, they're in your email uh, autoresponder, and you automatically send an email to them the next day that says, hey, forgot to purchase, 
and then it gives them a, a an email that is prompting them to go ahead and, and purchase and their card is still there so this more than makes up for the um the difference in money there and it's very powerful highly recommend that and you will not need this plan that's three hundred dollars a month right now okay so either these plans is okay but i highly recommend this one here so you go here and you click choose your plan and you're not ch charged this until your trial is up by the way so i'm gonna pause this video and i'm going to complete this uh part here and i'm going to come back to you okay we're back i input my information and once you do that you're going to be on this screen here and i want to point out that once you enter your, your that that 21 day free trial code that i provided and you enter that that plan that was 79 is actually going to be 10% off that. So all those plans are 10% off for your lifetime of um, your duration of your store being with Shopify. As long as you're you're um, with with us and you're here and you're making sales, it won't be a problem. Uh, but you will get that 10% off and your trial. Okay. So any problems with that, let me know. But just make sure you use that link that was provided earlier. Now, once you're here, uh, you can go ahead and tell us more about your business. And so on here, you can kind of put whatever your um, niche is going to be. Mine's going to be fashion and apparel for the most part here, and you submit that. Now from here, you're able to go now where it says down here, apps, and click on apps. And up here, you're going to uh, visit the app store in the top right-hand corner. And now you're back in the app uh, area. So the first app, the most important app, is called Trackify. It's right here and it's it's a free trial so you're not going to pay anything right now and the pricing went up a little bit it used to be 14.95 a month it's went up a little bit but it's so powerful and it's well worth the um, investment so you install the app Okay, so it's just nineteen ninety five a month. After the trial, it's not thirty nine. That's for extra features that we're not going to use. So, approve the charge. All right, and now we're ready to go. So we got it. Let's go. All right. So the main thing that we need right now is we're going to go back to the um business manager account and then when i told you to copy and paste this code from the last um training this is your facebook id pixel id so you're going to come back over here and you're going to put that facebook pixel id in here i'll go on over all these in another training um later but you don't need to put a second facebook pixel id right now if and you don't need that right now at all there's little, little videos over here you can watch if you want to learn more now but you'll just leave all these blank for now and the card as well just leave that regular card and if you want to like all these little videos you can they're pretty short and awesome but um i have a regular card and there's a such thing as an ajax card but most cards are going to be regular card um we're not going to add any niche tags quite yet I just want to go ahead and get this store up and going so the main thing is to make sure you put this pixel ID in here and like I said in other trainings where we get more advanced we'll go over each of these in detail you also can go ahead and select um, you know watch these videos too so you click that and you click save awesome your settings for save Shopify all right, so if you have any other, if you have a, have a site up right now and you were to install this, you have to remove all the code that was there before. This is a new store, so we don't worry about going in and removing anything. If you need help with that, email me and I can do it for you, okay? Uh, so that's pretty much the basics of that. One thing I will do while I'm here is come up here to um, niche tracking. And I'm going to see, I think I put some, um, yeah, I did put some, um, tags on some products so we're gonna fetch those and I've had two pieces of uh, products in here I made this track tag into the um, tag section on the product page and so I'm able to pull those 
products down here so when someone clicks on those specific pages I'm gonna be able to to see them okay and so I'll break that down as well but for now the main thing is adding that um, pixel ID to your Shopify uh, store that way you're not wasting your advertising we'll be able to track who comes to the site we'll be able to um, adjust accordingly depending on what's going on okay so next is going to be go back to um, apps and you'll see this here and go back to visit app store and we're going to install Herify next it's the countdown timer and that's just $6.99 a month once again it's well worth it um, I've seen a big increase in sales when I got this and I'm making you know, many sales every day so it's working for me and it's gonna work for you as well as long as you take action so approve the charge okay and this is how it's going to look it's going to be just like it is here so you can change the colors to fit your own the red I like it because my site has red in it and you can change the um, times and things in here it's perfect right now the way it is so it's going to hit save. This is exactly how it's going to look. It's going to add a sense of urgency to to our um, to our to our products. Okay. So once you do that, let's go back to the App Store again. And let's add FOMO. And these are the three basic apps. And on my stores, I have way more than three apps. But these are the ones I'll give you for this training, get you going, so you're not um, so you can utilize your free your free trial. Okay, and you can get going. So once again, there is a cost of these, and you don't have to get these, and I don't guarantee that you're going to uh, per se make sales, but I'm showing you what works for me. And um, These three apps are my favorite three, and I highly recommend them. But ultimately, it's up to you to kind of uh, use your own uh, you know, knowledge and your own confidence. You have to take action with uh, making money online, and so you're doing that, so I'm pretty sure you're going to be fine. You just follow along step by step, okay? So once again, you do that, and this is pretty much good to go. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm going to show you how it looks. But once you do that, you're all set up. So the first thing I'm going to show you, if you come back over here, let's just make sure this updated. You'll see all the apps there, okay? So there they are. Now, uh, Notify works automatically. Truckify now is set up because we put our Facebook pixel in there, and we saved the countdown timer. Now to make sure it works and activate it, let's start with the Herify countdown timer go to products and find our featured products first and we'll click on that once you're in this to activate that countdown timer you're going to come up here where it has the three um, little dots here and click on that and then click click manage countdown timer all right once you do that you're going to click here where it says on and you can set the time here that you want to display on each product um, and so once you do that you're going to click save all right let's come back over here to products again and let's do our other featured product here and I would do these for all products in your store just make the timer a little bit different for each one so manage countdown timer. Click on again. This time we'll make this one for nine hours. Hit save. All right. Now let's come back over here and let me show you how that's going to look on your actual um, on your actual website now. So we'll come here to this product and to look at it, we'll click view, which is right here at the top and so there it is added this timer right below the add to cart button which is so crazy and so amazingly converting uh, this works very well for me so hurry sell ends in bam and so that's there okay and that just adds another um, converting type of feature to your website that you didn't have to pay any designer to come in and do. We added it at the 
push up a button. Um, the next thing is uh, for the, the notify. Okay, for that to work, all you have to do is is when someone buys from your site, and if you come back to your um, to your to your website, it's going to pop up in the in the right, or I'm sorry, in the left hand corner. It's going to say this person purchased this product. It's gonna picture the product, and it's going to say what city they lived in. So what I do is I'm going to actually purchase one of these myself. And I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. Okay, I'm back. And what I did was I just went through the, per the um, purchasing process with my store. I've told you that I recommend you do, do this for two reasons. So you can see this at work and see how this pop-up comes in the bottom left-hand corner of the site. And this just makes it so when someone sees your site, they know that, hey, this is real. People are buying from here. And so for our first sale, make sure that you do this. And then you're in your bank account. You'll see that money come in your account within two to um it's usually for me one to two business days okay and it's never uh late i've never had a problem okay and also you see how i hover it over this and it stops so people can click this and click that it's going to take them to how they can buy as well so once again a powerful app well worth the um investment so now this site looks a lot better now it's already starting to pop and we're starting to get it's starting to look like it's uh, ready to rock and roll okay so that's the notify or FOMO app and we are pretty much done with the apps part now there are a bunch of other apps that i'll go over later i use over say around 10 to 15 apps per, per store so there are other apps there are some free apps as well that i use so they're they're not all paid but these are the main ones that you're going to need to make your store look credible and to track the pics track facebook um, um, traffic and whatnot so once again go ahead and add these apps if any questions let me know um, email me or message me on Facebook. So we are rocking and rolling. Go ahead and get those apps set up and I'll see you in the next training.